In this video, I'm going to show you my thinking process, what I'm looking for when I mark a physics IA. From the student's title, he's going to see how the temperature of a tennis ball changes how high it bounces. Nice simple topic. You can do very well. You can score a 7 as long as you carry it out thoughtfully and with a little creativity. On the whole, simple projects score better than complex topics. Often students get in over the head with uh, complex topics. So you're better to do simple things well. And by the way, this IA is not meant to be an exemplar of a 7. It's just a typical IA. And take note, my comments are not meant to be critical of the student. This was a great student. He got a lot out of doing the project. Feedback will help him to improve for the next lab that he writes up. And that's really what it's all about. It's about moving up the staircase. It's not about which stair of the staircase you're at. Pause the video. Take a little time to read over the student's introduction. Think about whether or not they justified the topic. Does this introduction make you think this is going to be a worthwhile topic, an important topic, a topic worth studying? A few things to point out. Uh, well, I like that he did subtitles. Tennis balls, though, is not a good subtitle. He might just call this the introduction or he might call it the justification, but tennis balls isn't good there. Uh, he then goes through and he's trying to justify it, so he's making a, a good attempt, but he really doesn't justify it. It doesn't seem to be an important topic. He seems to be kind of stretching the truth he thinks he's going to be able to better analyze the movement of tennis players in various environments due to this study, which is very, very unlikely. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.